Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to make some passive income with Aerodrome so that you can pay your bills, you can pay your rent, you can pay, you know, whatever it is that you want to pay for um, your girlfriend, your wife, you know, treat her out to something nice. The way you're going to do this is you're going to go to Aerodrome's website um, and you're going to obviously set up a base account with a wallet. And the way you're going to do this is you're not going to be trading Aerodrome. What you're going to be doing is providing liquidity in Aerodrome's protocol. Now, Aerodrome is not one of those tokens you want to trade um, because you don't make big money like that. You can scout for a couple of bucks here and there, but you're not going to be making a lot of money. Now, recall that in my last video, I talked about this. I talked about how you as a trader can be getting fees are you are paying fees into both the VR hope voters and the LPs and this actually gets into a flywheel and the way you want to do this is if you press liquidity you will become an LP now an LP is basically anyone who provides basically is a market maker you're like the casino you're the one who's absorbing all the fees as traders come in and trade their favorite meme coin and what you're going to do is you're going to go in here to these pools and choose the pool that you think has the biggest return based off of their incentive system now obviously you don't want to pick one that has a high apr and the reason is because generally those are riskier but at the same time sometimes there's a distortion in the market that provides you with higher volume now i personally like to go to the volatile pools because those are the ones that give me the higher aprs but also i have to pick and choose which one is probably going to be the one that i'm not going to lose my shirt on so I'm going to be picking the one with the highest volume, which in this case will be USDC Arrow. It's a 293% APR, which means that by you providing liquidity into this pool, you're going to be getting about 300% per year. Now, obviously, this can fluctuate. It's not a guaranteed, and you could still lose all of your money. So if you click on here, what you're going to start to see is you're going to need, obviously, a base Coinbase wallet. So that's the first thing. But if you notice carefully, when you deposit your money, all the fees that are coming in are going to be spread to all the people who provide the liquidity. So this $170,000 that is inside this pool will get distributed over to that. And basically, that's about it. It's really as simple as that. You just provide that liquidity in there. You wait every week and you can you can claim it anytime you want. Now, the other way of also doing it is um, if you can go in and you can actually vote. So you can actually um, lock your position in the form of an NFT and you can get a v arrow voting nft which that's going to allow you to participate in the voting portion of it and so one of the things i really like about this project is not only the fact that it's really fast but it's super cheap to provide liquidity so you can also see that they've already reached about 400 billion dollars in tvl their fees alone are generating 644,000, and that's just going to continue to go up as more tokens are listed so there's currently 85 tokens um here and i suspect that if you take a look at all their tokens they're going to probably keep on adding more um, of these tokens as you start to see this and you can also list your own token um, you can provide liquidity for them as well and you can actually ask them to create a pair you can add incentives and actually put token integration as well now obviously this is still very speculative okay so aerodrome is still a very young project i wouldn't necessarily you know put everything in there because it could go to zero okay and a lot of people think that this is a sure bet it's not necessarily a sure bet but it's a bet on base so if you are bullish on the base ecosystem and you think that people are going to come in here and they're going to optimize the flywheel and they're going to provide incentives and the error token is going to go up then by all means you can provide liquidity in there but if you say i just want to trade it in and out then you could just trade it in and out on base but one thing i do want to say is that the liquidity is really where the money is because this is where the token emissions themselves will provide you with that now the permanent loss for those of you who are wondering does exist uh, but the idea here is that you're not technically losing money you're just not making as much as had you held the token um, and that's assuming that the project you know doesn't go parabolic so the project does go parabolic the token goes parabolic then at that point um, your impermanent loss is going to be much higher but the one thing i will say though is that this is an emission token so i don't think we're ever going to get something crazy and if we do get something crazy um, you can always uh, um, remove some of the some of the staked tokens immediately 
and then re-enter back in whenever you want. So it provides you with that liquidity, which I really like. Um, and so far, they're already at $44 million in TVL just for the USDC arrow tool uh, pool. Now, if you want to do something a little bit less volatile, um, it's USDC with the wrapped ETH. This one gives you a 63% um, APR for holding ETH and USDC. So this one, you're still getting that 60%, which comes out to about um, if you if you kind of do the math a little bit, um, a little bit less than a little bit less than six percent per month. So it's basically like five percent per month um, for this ETH pool based off whatever it is, and you're holding ETH and obviously USDC. So as long as ETH doesn't like skyrocket here, um, you'll be making five percent of your money. So if you put in like a ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars, you know you'll be making a little bit of money in there. Obviously, this is the higher one. The second uh, higher pool is going to be USDC Arrow. Now, there's other other ones here. They're about 80%, and some of these are 500. These are a little bit more. The OVN pool, for example, gives you 500%, but obviously OVN um, is a little different. It's a little more of a lower, higher risk coin. And if you go back down to the bottom, you're going to start to see USDC BC tokens. Um, a lot of these are very speculative. So obviously, you don't want to be... Like this one actually has... 159 but that's a wrapped eth um, project so that one is going to be a little bit more um, interesting with that one now this one's really interesting this one actually is your grand base um, wrapped eth this one gives 533 percent so this one gives you 5x um for holding the gb gb token and eth now the only thing with this one is you have to make sure that gb doesn't go down the toilet so this is actually a um, rwa um uh crypto and so who knows I, i'm not sure about this one this project specifically it could go down to zero so this one that's a little bit more of a higher risk but some of the bigger ones like well is another one well is 138 percent. these are in very interesting projects to me i think that one's very interesting so you know in terms of tvl you want to kind of play it here to see what the tokens are obviously this usdc one this is the dola one and i can kind of do some research on that later in terms of like your three dola usdc at 21 million to 80 percent apr but i really like the arrow pool um and one of the things also is the voting okay so if you click here you can you can actually tell which ones are getting voted usually uscc gets voted the higher ones so you're generally going to see a much higher um apr on this one just because it's the actual original um, token for the protocol so generally i like to stick with these um, and then speculate on some of these other smaller ones with a smaller amount obviously but these emissions are actually very generous so if you if you think about it for a second um something like for example like i wouldn't go to second page i think second page would get a little bit more on the risky side um and now you're dealing with smaller fees and, and smaller emissions and things like that so there's a little bit less incentives as you're going down here and, and again this is uh, you know you got something like this one like the zoomer the arrow uh zoomer one this is kind of interesting this one's at 700 percent um uh apr for this one and the zoomer one is very interesting because this one is obviously a meme coin and that's your kind of your bigger meme coins in there and then if you kind of go back to the bottom you can kind of see that some of these other tokens start to get a lot more let's just say um there's a lot more risk associated with it so you kind of have to really know the project and whether where it's heading before you start putting in some some money in here um now the one thing i want to say is that as the as the bull market continues we're probably going to see more of this and obviously more token dilution because as more projects come in you're going to start to see that the yields are going to go down i mean that's generally how it, it kind of tends to work uh something like the dog coin like these for example are not gonna at some point be that high uh, and then if you kind of go back down to some of these other ones, you're going to start to see that they do have um, they do have a lot of potential for these. But again, it's very, very, um, very, very, very risky to kind of get into those. So let's take a look at the volatile ones. I think those are the usually ones and then the archive. So that's kind of like how it works. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll see you guys next time.